things like, first of all, how do you know a beat is ancient? That's the first question that everybody asks. How do you know anything that you claim is ancient? How do you know it's ancient? Well, you can study and study and study and study and study in school, and it will not give you the answer to that question. The real answer comes from, I, well, as Joel Malter said, he was asked, uh, you know, uh, I, I heard other people ask in this particular, uh, when he came to visit here, uh, prior to this shortly before he passed away, um, he came to visit, and um, a doctor friend asked, um, she asked him, uh, how do you know that something is ancient? And Joel looks at her and he says, I just know. Well, it doesn't come from that kind of uh, the place of, you know, uh, it's instinctive, because it is an instinct, and what happens is what we call instinct is actually a compilation of experience which comes to you instantaneously, but from a very deep well of experience, a very deep well of experience. So once you have had over a half a million beads through your hands, ancient beads through your hands, and you know where they came from, then beads that you don't know the source of, you can pick up and instantly know that's good, that's not good, that's a fake,